As residents of South Florida, there is a big concern we are currently facing. Millions of pollinators are dying off with alarming consequences to our environment and our food supply. Did you know that we rely on many types of insects to pollinate everything from almonds to strawberries to the alfalfa used to feed dairy cows? So what if our pollinators disappear? It's simple. No pollinators, no food. If the honeybee went extinct, we could still eat wind pollinated plants, but the tears to catch. You know, you're going to have a corn, wheat bread sandwich with you no know, apples, cucumbers, mangoes, chocolate, all of those uh, really delicious items need pollinators. Some of the biggest problems involving pollinators are habitat loss, use of pesticides, climate change, presence of non-native species and diseases. The majority of plants, more than 70% of species, depends on birds, insects, bats, and other animals to transport the pollen. When you think of pollinators, you think of the honeybee, correct? Honeybees provide us with a sweet treat and are very important to the economy. However, there are more than 4,000 types of bees and many other kind of pollinators. Their presence is essential to our food chain. What can we do to increase their population? An option is to just create more habitat for all bee species. There are plenty of studies that have shown that native bees are also excellent pollinators for food crops, but you have to provide habitat for them so they can survive. So I actually started a bee colony in high school, and the majority of the reason for doing that was to bond with my grandma at the time. But as we were getting everything together, making sure that you know we had a viable source of pollen for the bees, I started to do research and understand it, like how devastated the world would be without bees. Helping pollinators could be very easy for all of us. Simply allow some of the weeds to grow in your backyard and add some plants that have flowers. In your garden, try to keep a nice population of flowers that they can feed from and that they are gonna pollinate and help grow as well. This will attract pollinators and also make your space more beautiful. If possible, avoid the use of pesticides too. If you would like to take it a step further, you can choose to volunteer your time at an organization that advocates for our native species. If you do not have the time, you may opt to donate to these organizations. We hope this documentary helped you gain an understanding of this issue. Here are some fun facts and an original rap song we made to help you remember the pollinators. Did you know an estimated amount of food and beverages, approximately one third, was made by pollinators? About a thousand of all pollinators are vertebrate, meaning they have a spine. In the U.S., the average market value for these small pollinators called bees is approximately $14.6 billion. I love my pollinator. I love my pollinator. They bring me food that I love to savor. I love my pollinators. Hey, for flower reproduction, they need yeah. pollen production. However, the bees are the reason we can be causing mass destruction. We need mass construction of the bee population so they can save our world from mass devastation. Yeah. I love my pollinators. Yeah, they are the dominant. Keeping us alive hey. so they should hey. be tolerated. Hey. Bees, flies, and butterflies. We need them around so we don't die. All the neighbors are important, hey. so it's important uh. that we keep us down. Yeah. I love my pollinator. Ooh. Ooh. I love my pollinator. Ooh. They bring me food that I love to save it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love my pollinator. Yeah. My pollinators, pollinators, pollinators.